What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Julian. It's been a long while since I dropped the video. I think it's been about a month. Today I wanted to talk about the Navy Federal Go prepaid card. And at first I was thinking I didn't want to make a video on this because there's so much information already out there. But then when I thought about it, it only takes one video to show someone new who's not familiar with this process, who's not familiar with this product, to then learn about this product. I mean, we all can't see every video on YouTube, right? And plus I already made the thumbnail, so I might as well. Before we talk about the Navy Federal Go prepaid card, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Ronald. He um, actually has this card. I personally don't have it because I don't really need it myself. But uh, he gave me a lot of tips on his experience. So huge shout out to Ronald. A lot of this info I'm going to touch on actually came out of his experience. So I'll be sure to point those experiences out here shortly. Some basic information that you can just find on the front page of the Navy Federal uh, Go Prepaid card website is ATM limit is 600 bucks a day. You can fund other bank accounts that will accept debit cards, right? Just using the Go prepaid card. You could use it for a pledge loan for your family. This is something that Ronald had mentioned, haven't confirmed it myself, but he had mentioned that he confirmed that on the phone with a rep. Um, always be aware, information changes all the time, so always do your own research. Now, this card is reloadable up to a $10,000 limit. There's not a cash advance fee on this. This is not considered a cash advance as far as I'm aware, but even if it was, it's only a 2% more uh, interest on your money that you're going to be borrowing. You have a 3k a day spending limit and you can use this card to make payments on services like Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Samsung Pay. Now what I'm wondering is with these different services is do you have a limit like the $600 limit that's with the ATM? I don't know. That's something you guys have to find out. That's something to consider because if you don't and you just need the cash then you can Apple pay it to you know your family member, for example, and they can pull that money out the same day. So instead of only being limited to the 600 bucks, instead of only being limited to that, you're gonna have access to potentially send more than that. Next couple things is uh, you can have up to five cards for one Go prepaid account. Now the key point about this, what's really important here, is that you can have, let's say you have five cards, right? for one go prepaid card and you set those up with your brother, your sister, your cousin, whoever, then they have a $600 limit that they can go obtain from that card. Oh, let's say they go to the ATM, They, t your cousin takes out 600, your brother takes out 600, your wife takes out 600. Now you guys just got, you know, 1800 bucks in a single day, not even including the other two slots that could be filled up to five. So that's a key point there. Another big shout out to Ronald. He had mentioned he's doing that. I think he's doing it, he said three cards right now, not five, but just three. Why I would say this card is useful is it's, in my opinion, it's gonna be extremely useful for someone who's looking to use more of their credit limit than a cash advance will allow. So typically cash advances only allow around 30%. So if you had a $10,000 limit, you're only looking at about $3,000. Now, if you want to get more than that, you could use a method like this, specifically with Navy Fed. You can't use other credit cards to fund this prepaid debit card. You can only use Navy Fed. But specifically with Navy Fed, you can get more than a cash advance uh, will allow you to get. So you can maximize more of that. Another key point is just making debit transactions in general. Some facilities will not allow you to use credit cards for obvious reasons, uh, but you can use a debit card and this would be perfect for things like maybe making some of those payments. One thing that Ronald had mentioned to watch out for is let's say he was saying there's a 5k maximum. Multiple days you're transferring 5k over to the prepaid debit card, 5k, 5k, all these high limits. It might set off a fraud warning. So I'd say definitely be cautious of what you are uh, transferring over to that debit card, how much. You don't want to raise any red flags. Don't do anything crazy, sporadic, because you're going to throw off a fraud warning for that uh, credit card. So definitely take it easy. You don't want to jeopardize your Navy Fed account for any reason. I don't care whatever, whatever the situation it was, Navy Federal is the GOAT. In my opinion, you do not want to mess up that relationship ever for anything. So don't ever do anything, obviously, that will risk that 
will jeopardize that relationship with Navy Fit. Another thing you had to mention was 7-Eleven and Wawa don't have a fee, according to him. Um, 7-Eleven does have a $200 cap and Wawa does have a $400 cap. But like I said, if you had multiple cars, that's really not gonna be a big deal. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope someone actually got to see this video who's not already familiar with this Go prepaid card. I think the first time I seen this was probably on uh, Radical Marketers credit card channel, which is a phenomenal channel. If you guys haven't seen that one already, definitely check it out. It has some really good stuff. Um, also, of course, Designer Sew Box is another one. I think I've seen this in one of her videos on this as well. Another great channel. But yeah, guys, hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and stay hustling.